Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I always try to do these things in honor of community poetry, and I hope you appreciate these readings that I'm going to do for you. Um, the first one I'm going to do is a set of short poems from the CCD Maybe August 2022 issue collection book titled The Wall. The Wall. Ta-da! It's got this really cool shot of the entire Berlin Wall on it. And uh, I was going to pull from one of these sections a couple of poems that are also periodic table poems. Um, the first one is actually Terbium and it appears not only in the wall, not only in the wall, but also in the periodic table of poetry. Two books, two, two, <laughs> two books in one. So I hope you appreciate that one. This first one is titled Terbium. Looking for better sound remains at the top of the list. Having better stereo speakers at all group parties, meetings, or settings. Having a portable sound system anyone could take with them. Even using sound while in the car to reduce traffic noise, hear better music, or, or talk hands-free on your smartphone. The possibilities seem endless, but stereo speakers take up space. So, we need to use science and technology to even help us meet our audio needs. Companies create better and better sound systems. Earbuds for iPods have grown smaller and smaller, even with noise-canceling technology. There has to be a way to use the world around us to get us exactly what we need. Well, at least what we've decided we need. <laughs> So, after just a little research, I discovered an element twice as common as silver on this planet. And when it's mixed into a compound, terbium can help create a sound bug speaker that can turn any flat surface into a flat panel speaker. I mean, any flat panel surface, like office windows or your dining room table at home. You see, the terbium-filled sound bug can be plugged into a headphone socket and then suction onto any flat surface, literally turning that surface into a speaker. <laughs> now, this terbium-rich sound bug is only the size of a computer mouse, and retailing at less than 50 bucks, they're targeting, targeting, car targeting this to the youth market, but a wide range of technology users are going to love this little gadget that we can repurpose everyday flat surfaces into speakers for all sorts of sound needs. The thicker the flat material surface, the better the sound quality of the terbium lace sound bug speaker. And yeah, the resonance of the speaker material, wood, glass, metal, can affect the final sound quality. But in theory, you could daisy chain it, two of these terbium sound bugs together to excite multiple electrical currents of the music players to accept the mock speakers to bring every party to life in richer stereo. Now, I know terbium is like a Swiss army knife for cancer diagnosis, and I know that its green luminescence means it gives color enrichment to TVs and is even used in fluorescent lamps or, or, or lasers or semiconductor devices. But this whole using what we have to multi-purpose what we have idea is really beginning to stick with me. This audio technology can work with Oh, magnostriction, like, like in a car instead of a business meeting or a party. In a car, the Tribune sound bug could create noise-insulating windows, blocking out the excessive sounds of traffic. And you know how I hate the sound of traffic. But to business workers in a car, the, the mobile phone version of the Tribune sound bug could be stuck onto a car windshield to allow hands-free, handset-free talking. Well, that might cost a little more than the indoor Terbium sound bug, but no price is too high to stop people from staring at their phones while driving, right? So, yeah, although it is more common on Earth than silver, Terbium may still be hard to get sometimes. But if we can find this many uses for this element, 
I, I'm sure its demand will increase because pretty soon terbium will be desired more than anything. Okay, I hope you appreciated that one. It was a long one. I'm just going to have four periodic table poems for you guys. Um, the second one is actually a Twitter link poem because I'll do not only regular periodic table poems, but also do Twitter link poems. This mux poem is not only in the wall, but it's also in. Do I find it in this stack of books here? This is what I get for being in a bookstore, in a book like the bookstore for reset. Um, for community poetry. This is also in the book Twitterverse, Periodic Table Poetry, as well as The Wall, right now. And this poem, I hope you enjoy it, is called Terbium 161. Is just the right number. <laughs> hope you enjoy it. Lanthanides, like terbium, have no known biological role. So it's in tech, or, or light sources, till now. The first human use, inhuman use of Tribune 161 means 161 TB dead attack mean, works with, for patients with cancer. Some say science gets in the way of health, but with this therapeutic isotope, I beg to differ. And hey, I can show it to you in this book for Tribium, but it's also available on the screen, and you can see a full, big picture of it in color if you look at it on the uh, internet as well. Tribune 161 is just the right number. I will not show it to you here, but I hope you guys appreciate that. I am going to do two more periodic table poems for you guys. I hope you appreciate them. I'm going to do one long one and then one tour length one as well. I hope you, as I said, appreciate them. This, um, they are both for the element dysprosium. And as I had said, this is a poem that not only appears in the CCND issue collection book, The Wall, but it also appears in the periodic table of poetry. Should I switch sides? <laughs> these are in both of these books. I hope you appreciate this poem. This is dysprosium. I knew I could cut through you like a knife, but you were always difficult to get at. With you, I couldn't get my fingers wet when I wore surgical gloves in my searches for you. I couldn't feel what I was doing when I was looking for you, but, but, but I kept looking because you had the highest magnetic strength of anything I had ever dealt with in my life. You drew me to you. I couldn't help it. I know you're not free, and the thing is, you've always tried to bring along some of your mineral compatriots whenever we had a chance to meet. And still, I'd have to search the world for you to go to the other side of the planet, because I, I swear, I thought you were worth more than all the tea in China. I, I, I couldn't help it. You put a whole new light on everything after you hit me with your laser-like intensity. As I said, you have this magnetic effect on me. You're rare, and I couldn't help it. I should have known that if you got close, if I got the chance to, to breathe you in, you'd probably be an explosive hazard to me. I should have known that what we had could be ignited by the sparks we would make. But as I said, I couldn't help it. Even if you cause this spark, even if you cause this explosive reaction, I, I still have to come back. Because no matter what, the, the burning I feel for you doesn't last as long as you do. Y you burn readily, but you're hard to get. And I'm waiting for that next chance to feel those reactions with you again. That was Dysprosium, which is not only in the CCD issue collection book, The Wall, but it's also in the Periodic Table of Poetry, which is a book that's available for $11.18 for Elements 1 through 118 in the Periodic Table. I'm going to close off on a short one, though, that's not only in The Wall, but it's also in Twitterverse Periodic Table Poetry because 
someone suggested me there was a contest. So I had to have yeah, to write them for all of them. And I kept doing it even after they finished their contest and I took third place in it. But, and, and I hope you appreciate this last one. This is for Dysprosium 164. And it is titled Dysprosium 164 from super fluid to super solid. Super fluid to super solid. <laughs> super cool, Dysprosium 164. Make it a super fluid, flowing without friction. Stir it and it always swirls. A super fluid atoms overlap, morphing together. And dysprosium's magnetism sticks it into droplets. Crisscross super fluid tubes of dysprosium 160 fluid droplets. And it becomes a super solid. You didn't think you'd be getting a science lesson when you're in your poetry readings. I hope you enjoy these poetry readings. I might come with a few more in this time in honor of Community Poetry Reading Space. Thank you all so much for listening, and I look forward to speaking to each and every one of you very, very soon. Thank you all so very much. Thank you, thank you.